Question number one. Which of the following is the initial treatment for an eclimatic seizure? The correct answer is option number B, magnesium sulfate. Question number two. At what point in pregnancy does eclampsia most commonly occur? The correct answer is option number C, only during labor. Question number three. Which of the following is not a typical feature of preeclampsia, the precursor to eclampsia? The correct answer is option number D, low-dose aspirin therapy after diagnosis. Question number four, which is a risk factor for developing eclampsia? The correct answer is option number B, chronic hypertension. Question number five. Which antihypertensive is commonly used in severe eclampsia? The correct answer is option number B, labetalone. Question number six. What's the key goal of magnesium sulfate in eclampsia? The correct answer is option number B, prevent seizures. Question number seven, which prophylactic measure helps prevent preeclampsia? The correct answer is option number C, calcium supplementation. Question number eight. Which condition carries the worst prognosis among eclampsia types? The correct answer is option number A, anapartum. Question number nine. Which is not a sign of severe preeclampsia? The correct answer is option number C, systolic BP of 120 millimeters or GARA. Question number 10. What is the typical duration of a tonic-clonic eclamptic seizure? The correct answer is option number B, one minute tonic, one two minutes clonic. Question number 11. Which complication may eclampsia cause due to aspiration during seizure? The correct answer is option number B, aspiration pneumonia. Question number 12. What is the definitive treatment for eclampsia once the mother is stabilized? The correct answer is option number C, delivery of baby and placenta. Question number 13. How is preeclampsia diagnosed? The correct answer is option number B. BP, depositive 140 over 90 after 20 weeks, plus proteinuria or organ dysfunction. Question number 14. Which organ dysfunction is not typical in eclampsia? The correct answer is option number C, pancreas, elevated enzymes.
Question number 15. Which statement is false regarding magnesium sulfate use? The correct answer is option number C, less effective anticonvulsant than diazepam. Question number 16, which is not a long-term risk following eclampsia? The correct answer is option number C, fetal congenital malformations. Question number 17, which of the following is not a predisposing factor for preeclampsia? The correct answer is option number D, smoking. Question number 18. Which sign is most prognostic in eclampsia? The correct answer is option number B, duration of coma. Question number 19. Which statement about magnesium sulfate toxicity is true? The correct answer is option number B, leads to respiratory depression. Question number 20. Which antihypertensive is contraindicated in pregnancy? The correct answer is option number D, ACE inhibitors. Thanks for watching this video.